stuff here. Just for a second. <sighs> I'm so nervous that I just want to let go of my hat because I'm sweating. Hello guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. I'm Diego and this time we're gonna react to episode 11 of The Legend of Korra, Skeletons in the Closet. First point. I'm on. An unstoppable force. I've been thinking about how incredibly relentless and terrifying he really is. We have seen him take him bending away four times already. As far as I remember. That guy from episode three. One of the most notorious criminals of Republic City. The second were the winners of the pro bending tournament, which was devastating afterwards to see them without powers, to be honest. Then it was Tarlock, which is one of the most satisfying things to watch in this season so far. And the last one is the most heartbreaking one. It was Lin. Doesn't matter who, if you are doing good or bad things for the city, if you're a bender, you're out. There's no question. And I absolutely love that because it gives this sense of actual threat that really no one is safe. With Lin, it was it was just a statement. Like anyone can lose their bending. And I'm so worried about about this guys, about Tenzin, about Korra. Yeah, I think it's pretty much impossible that she's gonna she's gonna have her bending away. I'm so worried about the rest of the guys. I really am. And the second thing would be good guys. How are you gonna team up? Even though there's a lot of people in the good side, I feel like there's gonna be some kind of breaking or they're gonna divide and that's gonna really affect this whole situation, this whole sense of teamwork in order to defeat Amon. This continuing thing between Asami, Mako and Korra. I mean, something I think is gonna happen. I don't know how the United Forces are going to play into this, but let's see, let's see. I'm sweating, I'm really sweating. Grab a cup of tea, let's watch it. In the daring escape, Lin Beifong sacrificed herself and saved the airbenders. But she was captured and Amon took her bending away. Ah, it still hurts. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. It is a glorious day, my equalist brothers and sisters. Oh my God, it's taken over. He has declared bending in No. Illegal. And he has the avatar on the run. Look at the statue, Our even. My leader. god, Hiroshi, I hate you. One day soon, bending will no longer exist, and we will live in a world where everyone is finally equal. Equal my. Equal my. Can you believe Hiroshi? Oh, okay, they're fugitives. Okay. <sighs> Let's go back up there and knock some heads. They'll never know what hit him. Relax. <sighs> See, you can't be impulsive right now. I hate this being patient stuff. You gotta be patient, Cora. Please, please, please you, gotta you gotta stay calm. Stay calm. Welcome back. Hope you worked up. Oh, you were the guy from the first episode, right? You called it from the finest dumpsters the city has to offer. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. That's gross. And Papa is obviously gonna eat it, but he's gonna. No, he enjoyed it. Okay, I guess he enjoyed it. Can't sleep either. <sighs> no, I have this awful pit in my stomach. Michael, you're spending a lot. No wonder Asami is so mad at you. And now I'm in the middle of an all-out war. I know. We didn't even know each other then. And now, I can't imagine my life without you in it. I think you're pretty incredible too, but you already knew that. Oh my god, but I should dude, try to get some sleep. This is not the right time though. This really is not the right time to do any of this. Good night. And Marco, you got a Sami, you gotta You're so bad at this relationship. <laughs> You're letting a Sami be hurt. Oh dear god. Another guy just taking the bending away. Next. Just like that. I hate this mustache guy. I, I'm not gonna be tired of saying that. Oh my god, so many people. It just reminded me of Pirates of the Caribbean World's End, the beginning. Somehow, somehow. My god, it's so grim. Oh, there they, they, there they are, United Forces. General Iroh. There he is. Amon had to know we were coming. That is Zuko's voice. 
<laughs> he has to be family related if they brought the same voice actor, you know. It, it, it just has to be. I don't see any mecha tanks either. Oh, 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 oh. No! Something's not right. Oh, oh, no. Ugh. Dude, it's so many. It's so many of them. Oof. Oh, you're pretty bold doing that, Cora. Hope you're doing okay at the end. What is that sound? Uh, are those airplanes? Are they really what airplanes? Now? Holy crap! <laughs> this is a. Oh my god, this is just like a World War movie. Oh my god, I'm having chills. This, this, this reminds me of Dunkirk. The animation is crazy. Oh my god, this is, this is nuts. This is nuts. Oh my god. This is straight up. Oh sh Look at the animation. Look at this. This is a world war. Scene. I can't believe I'm watching this. Oh. They're not stopping. They're relentless. Holy. They're not gonna survive that. Cora, you gotta go for a general arrow. You gotta go for him. Look at that. No, no, no. They're screwed. Look at that shot, it's it's amazing. The production level of this show is is phenomenal. Ooh, ooh, that's sweet. The music swelling up, it's beautiful. Oh. Go, 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 go. Damn. Oh my god. Can I just watch it in a theater? Can I just watch this in a the theater? Let's go, let's go. Just one last one, just one last one. No! It's gonna blow up in his face. Oh my god. Dude, 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 no, 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 Cora, you gotta go for him, you gotta go for him. Yes, yes, there you go. <sighs> Look at that. If this was a live action movie, Oh my god. Mon is winning so far, but we're not out of the fight yet. I like this man's confidence! <laughs> the recipient of this top secret message. Commander Boomy, 2nd Division of the United Forces. Tenzin's brother? Yes. Oh, it's Tenzin's brother! Commander Boomy, cool. We're over this mountain range. Everyone get ready. We leave at dawn. Time to take down my father. Oh yes, Asami. Yes, that's what I wanted to hear. I'm sorry, but I'm not going with you tomorrow. What? Why not? What's I'm happening? I'm sick and tired of hiding from Amon. It's time I face him. Cora. Not a good plan. It's not a good plan. <laughs> my gut's telling me it's time to end this on my terms. Don't do a Harry Potter. Don't do that. I'm going with you. You don't have to do that. <sighs> yes. I do. It's not that someone's gonna take care of Cora, it's just that she can't go along with this. She really can't. Cora, Amon is a nasty dude. Be careful. I will. The relationship between these two is underrated. I really want to see more of them two together. Oh. Take good care of Bolin for me. No. <laughs> I'm sorry things got so messed up between us. But whatever happens today, I want you to know how much I care about you. I care about you too. <sighs> Mako, you should know. You should know. If you just communicate stuff better, man. <laughs> I love when, when she does that. Cool bubble. I fear one of them is gonna get trapped. Kidnapped. What are you two doing here? 
Please, help me. The arena? For what? The rally. You should have been briefed about this. The rally. We'll be there, sir. I know another way in. Hmm. I feel there's gonna, there's gonna be a trap. There's gonna be a trap uh, triggering over here. We're not alone up here. Oh, there's Tarlock! Are there other prisoners on the island? No. Oh my God. I'm the only one. And what makes you so special? I'm Amon's brother. What? <gasps> what? I have to stop here. Just for a second. Amon is Yakona's son, then. Oh my god, this is nuts. This is nuts. This is nuts. What is it with this family, this corrupt family? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I, 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 I needed, I need a few seconds to process this. I don't think he's lying. I think he's telling the truth. Let's continue. Holy crap. Amon is from the Northern Water Tribe. He's a waterbender and a bloodbender, just like I was. What? What? It all began with my father, Yakov. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. He assumed a new identity and settled down in the Northern Water Tribe. Oh my god. First born under the name Noatak. I was born three years later. Oh. Noah Talk was a good-natured kid, always looking out for me. Those were the good years, <laughs> before my brother and I discovered we were waterbenders. You'll be out here in the cold all night until you get it right. I'm trying, but... Try harder! Your brother was never this sloppy. Oh my god. Don't talk back to me, son. Ever! Even back then... My brother wanted everyone to be treated fairly and equally. Equally, oh my god. <laughs> What's blood bending? The most powerful and feared form of bending in the world. Declared illegal thanks to that coward, Katara. You two will become bloodbenders of the highest order. When the time is right, you will claim Republic City, and you will destroy the Avatar. Oh my god, you see the Avatar as the actual oppressor? You must avenge me. That is your purpose in life. That is so freaking twisted. We kept the truth from our mother. Dude, what a freaking dick. Father. No! On an at No! Toughen up, Tarlock. You'll need a thicker skin for this. What a terrible upbringing. What a terrible father. What a terrible way to grow up. Very good, son. Very good. Father taught us to bloodbend any time, without no. the need of the full moon. Not wolves. Not wolves. And I hated every minute of it. Oh my god. This is this is so sad. <laughs> Look at them. I had no stomach for manipulating helpless animals. I mean, yeah, I mean... Wow. Wow. Mastering my father's psychic bloodbending technique by the time he was 14. <sighs> this is freaking dark. Oh my god. Ha I'm having so many chills. Look at the psychotic smile from his father. Their father. He carried the burden of all Yakon's expectations and demands. Yakon is the real dick here. Something changed in Noah Talk over the years. The loving brother I once knew became cold and detached. Wow. Our father pushed us to extremes, and one day, he made us bloodbend each other. Oh my god. No. No. Go. Oh my god, it's the same thing with Ozai and Zuko and... Oh my god! What is this? Tarlock, your turn. 
Oh my god, Tarlik in this picture is Zuko. That felt awful. I don't want to do that to anyone. I never want to bloodbend again. Wow. Weakly. I'll teach you a lesson, you insubordinate. Stay. Oh. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? You're the weak one. Oh, he went full on dark side. At 14. But it isn't. The Avatar is. Oh my god. He took your bending away. <laughs> You're mine. We're your sons. Not your tools of revenge. Dude. I can run away from him. Forever. No. Run away? No, but, but what about Mom? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Leave her? She was right about you. You are a weakling. Just like that, holy crap. No, it's off. This is... Don't leave, please! I'm speechless. This is so heartbreaking, this is so... But we never found a sign of Noah Tuck. We thought he perished in that storm. My mother was never the same with the loss of my brother. No. My father stopped training me. With Noah Tuck gone, his hopes for revenge withered. Wow. And he passed away a few years later. Oh, dude. That really affected their fa Oh, my God. That's one of the saddest stories I've ever heard. You tell me. I thought I was better than my father, but his ghost still shaped me. I became a soldier of revenge, just like he wanted me to be. <sighs> and so did my brother. My God. How did you figure out Amon is your brother? When he took my bending, the sensation was somehow familiar. Uh huh. I later recognized it as my brother's blood bending grip. Oh. He somehow uses blood bending to take people's bending. Wow. Never encountered a bender as strong as Noah Talk. That is nuts. But there's another way to beat him. How? 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 We know the truth about him. If we expose him as a bender in front of all his supporters, oh, the rally oh. undermine this whole revolution. Clever. Defeat him. Put an end to this sad story. Wow. Wow. I'm having chills all over my body. What a beautiful episode. Before I watch episode 12, my thoughts on episode 11. I'm so happy I'm watching this. If episode 12 manages to be as good or better than episode 11, this season, this story is amazing. I, I can't believe I've been missing on this for years. First of all, before we enter the whole Amon and Tarlock story, I want to point out the first half of the episode. This is really worthy of a live action film. The way the story is being told is truly phenomenal and the places they're going, in the stakes, in the whole gravity of the situation, in the relationships that are being handled, it all feels extremely adult and mature. This is definitely one of the best episodes of this season, if not the best one by far for me. It is amazing. And really a great part of it is the way this oppressed Republic city is being portrayed. It's now basically a lifeless city. As I'm thinking about it, really all Amon was doing to take over the city is to take the leaders out. So he would be there as the governor of the city. Super easy. And now Korra and Mako and Bali and Asami are living on the underground. It really feels extremely like, like an actual revolution. And I love that action sequence with the ships and the airplanes. That is straight up out of a movie like Dunkirk. It was beautiful animation, beautiful production over there. And I think that action sequence, I think it really sums up like the whole tone of the show. It is grim, it is dark, no one is safe. And this is not a world for kids, this really is not. This is just so dangerous. And I love how this episode focused on relationships, on character relationships. Mako and Korra, I have conflicted feelings because Asami is there just being really just hurt because 
Marco can't freaking communicate. It's so... It's so... Ah. But I actually do like the connection between Marco and Cora. I think it's sincere. I understand that bonding in this situation is necessary in order to strengthen that relationship, in order to feel that you're actually strong and you can, you can fight this. That little interaction between Mako and Asami was, was kind of heartbreaking. Those little details, like Asami giving a kiss on, on Mako's cheek, it just makes it all the more dramatic and sad for the relationship. And I just love how they animate these characters. Like you really do see their emotions, what they're thinking, what they're feeling. It's just, it feels so real. And of course, Tarlock and Amon's story, that was fascinating. That was beautiful. Now I understand. This makes so much sense. And I'm thinking like, Amon is just straight up a psychopath. I remember that in episode 3 he told this story about this firebender. He's straight up lying. He's straight up lying. And he feels like, yes, he's the solution. He really went all full on dark side on his brother and on his father. That is... And, and on wolves and my god, it's so... Ew, that was so brutal. If this was a live action film, I wouldn't be surprised if it was, if it was rated R. I really wouldn't be surprised at all. And it's just amazing how it all comes back to family, to a tragic breakup of a family. This terrible upbringing by a father just driven by revenge and just twisting things in his mind, thinking that the avatar, that benders, are the actual oppressors. And to project that hate onto their children. It's so tragic. Yakon is the real villain. He is the reason why all of this is happening. This really reminds me a lot of the conflict that was happening between Azula, Ozai, and Zuko. Because Ozai made, really, really made that Zuko and, and Azula turn on each other. But my god, that was straight up great. Amazing. Amazing. It's the episode of this season, close to a a masterpiece and it's not an adjective that I throw around very often to describe an episode you know or a movie or a TV show but this was really good this was really good storytelling it, it really makes the other episodes like I really want to rewatch this show when I when I end the season maybe I'm missing something else as well let me know down in the comments what do you think about this episode I'm sure you love this episode yeah I just really want to talk about this episode with you guys Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more content like this, please give it a like. And you may want to subscribe as well if you haven't. And we'll see each other in the next one. I'm going to watch episode 12 right now. See ya!